escorting a hero. Law enforcement from across the valley honoring Corporal Jose Luis Espericueta as his body is taken to a funeral home in Edinburgh. Right now, the family is working on funeral arrangements. Good evening, I'm Maribel Gonzalez, in for Nicole Hickel and Chris Jacobs. At this hour, many are remembering the officer affectionately known as Speedy. Mission Police receiving condolences from all across the nation. CBS4 Sydney Hernandez is live in Mission with more on the life of Corporal Espericueta, Sydney. It happened right here outside of the Mission Bell Resort off a of Stuart Road where Corporal Jose Luis Espericuete made the ultimate sacrifice for his community. You can see a flag is being flown right outside of the RV park in his honor. A community in mourning after losing a man who served and protected them for 13 years. On Thursday night, Corporal Jose Luis Espricueta responded to a domestic disturbance after a woman called 911 saying her son was shooting at her. Espericueta was there as backup to his fellow officers, but things quickly escalated. As the male subject was running towards the parking lot of Mission Bell Resort, he turned around and began discharging a weapon in the direction of Corporal Espericueta striking him. Espericueta was taken to a local hospital but was pronounced dead shortly after. The alleged shooter, Juan Chapa, had a lengthy criminal history. He's been arrested multiple times since 2007. Police say Chapa was killed after officers shot back at him. Unfortunately, what we see in our communities, not only here, but throughout the nation, is the number of officers being killed in the line of duty. And a lot has to do with that. And uh, so we look forward to looking at this for the future. Chief Robert Dominguez says the senior supervisor was loved by all his brothers and sisters in blue. We affectionately call them Speedy here at our department. Corporal Espericueta had recently received the Meritorious Service Award after he entered a burning house to rescue an elderly man who was still inside and never hesitated to save another life over his own. And that's how Chief Dominguez says he'll be remembered. As we see today, this environment can be extremely dangerous. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family, first and foremost, and also to the brothers and sisters that have the privilege to work along him over the last 13 years. The Texas Rangers are investigating this case. Reporting live in Mission with Complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS 4 Valley at 5.